so you will venture far into the world and you better come back and see us on occasion with tales of all of your adventures. On behalf of your administrators and teachers, it has been our privilege to teach you and you will always be a part of our STEM, tea, STEM team, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. Thank you so much, each and every one of you for representing our STEM community and being ambassadors for what is possible when students like you run the world. So now I will pass it over to Joe Smith to present the members of the National Art Honor Society. The purpose of National Art Honor Society is to promote the visual arts in the community. This year, NAHS made inspirational art pieces to put into care packages for people going through hard times in our community. This year's rainbow cord recipients are... Advance the slide. Baron Adler. Jill Broom, Lauren Degler, <coughs> Caitlin Loptin, and Kenneth Danes. So sorry, Kenneth, I forgot what your last name was. Okay, um, I'm presenting National English Honor Society. So the National English Honor Society motto, Gelis Skyl Mid R, is Old English for duty goes with honor. The motto represents one of the earliest forms of our language and it affirms and celebrates an obligation to use one's gifts in service to others. Service to peers, school and community is part and parcel of the NEHS mission. And indeed, in the grammatical structure of the Old English phrase, duty actually precedes honor. NEHS members must hold a 3.0 in their English classes and be in good standing with the chapter, including volunteer hours with some of our various activities, such as the Writing Center, the annual TEDx Symposium, and promoting a love of literacy throughout the school. It is our proud honor to introduce this year's National English Honor Society CORD recipients. First of which is Callan Bendel, Grace Bielefett, Carolina, Bovenovsky, Bovenovsky, Tyler Connolly, and Lillian Durant. Hannah Eckhart, Abigail Geiger, Ryan Hengen, Riley Johnson, Nissa Jordan. Malia Juba, Austin Kindred, Keenan Korn, Quincy Kramer, and AJ Makshut. Saria Malik, Carlos Martinez, Tanvi Patel, Ali Soto, Audrey Springer, and Jaden Toy. Congrats, y'all. Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Abby Kaplan et je vais présenter les honoriades de la Société Honoraire Française. It's Tyler Connolly and Lillian Duarte. Uh, the motto of the French National Honor Society is Avoir une autre langue, c'est posséder une autre, une deuxième âme. Or to, to speak a second language is to possess a second soul. Tyler Connolly has helped so much in both Madame Letz's and my French classes. He always demonstrates a high level of French uh, communication skills. Um, he's like Descartes, I wrote, uh, the French philosopher. He always thinks. And so Descartes said, je pense car je suis. I think, therefore I am. But surprisingly, Ta Tyler recently admitted that he doesn't like reading. Il n'aime pas lire, mais il écoute très bien. So his knowledge is astounding. He picked up French from an early age and he speaks like a native. Uh, Lillian Duarte took AP French last year with Madame Ville. She's the president of the French Honor Society. And I've known her this past year. She's extremely friendly, helpful and caring toward all students. She's also very witty. Our French Honor Society meetings have been extremely fun thanks to her. And she reminds me of the French actress 
Catherine Deneuve. So it is my honor to present them with the Bleu, Blanc et Rouge court of the French National Honor Society. Félicitations. The Math Honor Society, apologize for the gap there. The Math um, Honor Society, um, I don't know what happened with other groups, but uh, this is the work of these students. Um, I was new to the school in the fall and, and these students, a uh, um, few among them reinstated the Math Honor Society uh, and got things going. And um, it's it's all theirs. Uh, the work is impressive and, and they've really built the, the program up um, on their own. So um, great congratulations. And I believe red and gold cord for Tanvi Patel, Tyler Conley, Carolina Ozanowski, Braden Hammond, Surya Malik, Sean Mauk, Jaden Toy, and Callan Bendel. A National Honor Society is a high school organization that emphasizes the pillars of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. To join NHS, students need to show their commitments to these pillars in the application process and continue to uphold those pillars as active members of a high school chapter. To earn cords for NHS, students need to be in the chapter for at least two years, so as their, ju at their junior and senior years, and they need to stay in good standing with the chapter. They do this by regularly attending meetings, participating in service projects and planning for wish week, obtaining individual service hours and maintaining at least a 3.75 GPA. These students will wear gold cords at graduation next week. And these students are Callan Bendel, Joshua Bernstein, Grace Bielefeld, Caleb Binger, Carolina Bog Bogzanowski, Nathaniel Cho, Tyler Connolly, Lauren Daigler, Hannah Eckert, Joanne Fuchs, Braden Hammond, AJ Moxat, Saria Malik, Isabella Martinez, Sean Mock, Tanvi Patil, Catherine Sturquill, and Jaden Toy. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ken Schnake. I'm the biology teacher at STEM. And it's my honor tonight to present the National Science Honor Society Awards. Uh, this is a group of young thinkers who are the future of industry, research, and scientific exploration. Members, in order to be in good standing, must maintain a high GPA, plan and participate in events um, such as the battery recycling program, Skype a scientist, and a small group participated in a statewide science competition called the Science Olympiad, which includes events from chemistry and biology to paleontology and physics. It's my honor this year to introduce the recipients which will receive a blue and gold cord. Callan Bendel, Grace Bielfeld, Carolina Bodzinowski, Nathaniel Cho, Tyler Connolly, Lauren Daigler, Lillian Duarte, Hannah Eckert, Lily Falkenberg, Joanne Fuchs, Abigail Geiger, Braden Hammond, Riley Johnson, Malia Juba, Saria Malik, AJ Maxat, Isabel Martinez, Sean Mauk, Tombi Patel, and Jaden Toy. Congratulations, you all.
Uh, hello, my name is uh, Maria Moreno. I have the honor to present the National Spanish Honor Society. And the motto of the Hispanic Honor Society is uh, Todos a Una. The purpose of the Hispanic Honor Society is to recognize high achievement of high school students in the Spanish, Spanish language and to promote a continued interest in Hispanic studies. Our members are among the best students in the class, not just in terms of academic, but also in terms of leadership, service, and character. They are committed to community service projects and provide the opportunity to network with like-minded peers. It's my honor to introduce the recipients. Uh, Carolina Botsianowski, Ivan Franco, Isabella Kindrick, Uh, Surya Malik, Ankiet Maksat, Emma Slack, Rebecca Vaughn. Congrats, congratulations to all of them. So it looks like Mr. Um, uh, Schwartz is still, uh, I guess, practicing for theater. So I will cover for him. Uh, so the National English or the National Thespian Honor Society, I'm winging it here, um, is the honor society for our best theater students. Um, I know that you are required to do a certain amount of hours in both um, technical and acting skills um, in theater. Um, so here we go. Sorry, I'm really winging it. Um, all right, uh, the recipients are Bryn Conway, Reese Paulson, Lilia Ransom, and Catherine Sturkwell. Congratulations. Good evening. Uh, the Technology Student Association Honor Society recognizes TSA members who excel in academics, leadership, and service to their school and community. The TSA Technology Honor Society is an opportunity for student members to be recognized for their efforts, designed to recognize TSA members who exemplify the high ideals of academics. Uh, so you have to have not only academic standing and service projects, you have to have recommendation from the state advisor, chapter advisor, and you have to hold an office. Um, and I am proud to announce that um, uh, Sophia Watts is receiving the uh, blue and white cord for uh, National Honor Society. She was the state treasurer from 2018 and 2019, as well as the state president for 2019 and uh, 2020. And um, <laughs> I have to say that she's been with TSA since sixth grade. And when she first showed up and was a chapter officer, then we talked about it back then that she would be a state officer someday. So congratulations, Sophia. Great, now we are to the portion where we talk about the outstanding students who have earned the seal of biliteracy on their transcript. So earning the seal of biliteracy is an outstanding accomplishment. Having the seal on their transcript shows that a student has demonstrated proficiency in at least two languages before completing high school. So our STEM students who have earned this achievement have accomplished the following three requirements. They have completed all graduation requirements. They have demonstrated proficiency in English by earning a 3.0 plus GPA in all English course requirements throughout their entire high school career. And they have received a score of seven of 470 or higher on the SAT evidence-based reading and writing section. 
And then the third thing is demonstrating proficiency in a world language. And they have done this by earning three plus on a world language AP exam or successful completion of level four of a world language. So our class of 2021 CLO by Literacy Achievement goes to these outstanding uh, 28 students, which I do wanna point out that 28 students have earned this, which is absolutely amazing. So first we have Grace Bielefeld, Noah Castaneda, Ethan Chambers, Nathaniel Cho, Tyler Connolly, Lillian Duarte, Maxwell Ketter, Keenan Korn, Quincy Kramer, Sean Mock, Kyle Paris, Joseph Parsons, Emma Slack, Jaden Toy, Luke Harmston, and Ethan Kishiyama, AJ Maxat, Maria Prosperi, Connor Sparks, Joaquin Underaga, Surya Malik, Rebecca Vaughn, Ariana Velez Collazo, yeah. Alexander Watford, Carlos Martinez, Joel Paulson, Conrad Quam, and Amy Swindle. Congratulations, you guys. Next up, we have the Athletic Letter Awards being presented by Mrs. MH. Hello, thank you, Ms. Dugan. Um, so I'll be presenting the Athletic Varsity, uh, the Varsity Letter Athletic Awards for our seniors. So these are our seniors who not only have done all of the amazing things we've been hearing about tonight, but also competed on a varsity sport for STEM. And um, we know that this has been a very tough year to have sports, um, but we have still had some competition this year. Um, I would like to point out I am missing a couple of sports on these slides. So boys soccer and golf. Um, we did have a few seniors on those teams that are not represented on these slides, um, but I would just like to recognize them as well. Um, so the first sport I would like to talk about is boys basketball. We had three seniors who competed on our boys varsity basketball team this year. I'm just waiting for the slide to turn. So we have Braden Haman, Brendan Kerr, and Matthew Prucherell. For our next sport, I'd like to talk about boys lacrosse. Um, so these are athletes who are competing right now. Landon Carlisle, Jacob Delance, Braden Haman, Nathan Marks, Connor Railsback, and Jack Stern. In cross country, we had Ethan Kishiyama, Jake Marlowe, Carlos Martinez, Mason Mamier, Cole McGuire, Connor Railsback, Emma Slack. And in girls volleyball, Hannah Eckert, Lorelai Haycock, Madeline Killey, Isabella Martinez, and Ali Soto. Congratulations. And now we'll be presenting our students who have received honors. All right, so these students have maintained a 3.75 GPA or higher during all of their high school career. And these students who have earned this honor will be wearing a white sash at graduation. And please bear with me because we have a lot because our STEM students are amazing. <laughs> so first up we have Farron Adler, Sawyer Allen, Callum Bindle, Joshua Bernstein, Grace Bielefeld, Caleb Binger, uh, William Bobby, Karlina Bozianowski, Nicholas Borisov, Jillian Broom, Noah Castaneda, Ethan Chambers, Nathaniel Cho, Aurora Coulter, Tyler Connolly, Bryn Conway, Lauren Daigler, Hannah Eckert, Caden Erling, and Aaron Fast. Jacobo Fogoni Borsa, Joanne Fuchs, Grant Gooding, Skylar Grove, Braden Hammond, Bryce Hawkins, Samuel Hill, Kaven Siraj Jaya Shunkar, sorry. Uh, Riley Johnson, Nissa Jordan, Owen Jocelyn, Malia Juba, Maxwell Catter, Dave and Co., Austin Kindred, Ethan Kishiyama, Julian Knight, Keenan Korn, Daniel Crouchu, Ian Quinsley, Corbin Lamar, Devin Layton, AJ Maxat, Surya Malik, Nathan Marks, Isabella Martinez, Cole McGuire, Benjamin Pacheco, Kyle Paris, Tanvi Patil. And finally, Conrad Quam, Connor Railsback, 
Ali Soto, Connor Sparks, Ashley Stafford, Benjamin Stern, Jack Stern, Jaden Toy, Tyler Tryon, Andrew Vargas, and Sophia Watts. Congratulations, you all. And next up, we have our STEM Scholar recipients. And these students have earned all of the requirements for STEM Scholar, um, which involve three additional STEM elective credits, two or more CE, two or more CE or AP classes, and held 3.5 or higher GPA. And they will be wearing a medallion at graduation. And these students are Bryce Abel, Theron Adler, Sawyer Allen, Callan Bindal, Joseph or Joshua Bernstein, Grace Bielefeld, Caleb Binger, William Bob Bobby, Carlina Boldzianowski, Nicholas Borisov, Mason Brady, Jillian Broom, Landon Carlisle, Noah Castaneda, Ethan Chambers, Nathaniel Cho, Ethan Choi. Aurora Coulter, Tyler Connolly, Bryn Conway, Lauren Daigler, Kenneth Danes, Hannah Eckert, Caden Erling, Aaron Fast, Evan Feiger, Ronan Finley, Jacobo Fogoni Borsa, Evan Frank Franco Franco, <laughs> Joanne Fuchs, Abigail Geiger, Alexander Gentilucci. Grant Good Gooding, Noah Graber, Cameron Green, Skylar Grove, Braden Hammond, Bryce Hawken, Samuel Hill, Kevin S Siraj, Jaya Shunkar, Riley Johnson, Nissa Jordan, Owen Jocelyn, Malia Juba, Maxwell Ketter, Davin Coe, Austin Kindred, Ethan Kishiyama, Julia Knight, Keenan Korn, Daniel Crouchu, Ian Quinsley, Corbin Lamar, Devin Layton, AJ Maxat, Saria Malik, Nathan Marks, Isabella Martinez, Cole McGuire, Benjamin Pacheco, Kyle Paris, Tanvi Patel, Conrad Quam, Connor Railsback, Ali Soto, Connor Sparks, Ashley Stafford, Benjamin Stern, Jack Stern, Jaden Toy, Tyler Tryon, Andrew Vargas, and Sophia Watts. Congratulations. I am just so proud of all of you for earning all of these amazing awards and um, with honors and STEM Scholar. And next up, we will um, be presenting our department awards. I think first up, we have arts. Okay, it was difficult to choose a senior to honor tonight. There are so many talented artists at STEM, from visionary filmmakers to painters, sculptors, and digital artists of all kinds. As the senior art students know, and tonight's honoree embodies, talent is the result of serious work, focus, and determination. Qualities that are exhibited in abundance at STEM. After what the senior class has been through, you all deserve an award. The consolation prize instead is independence and resilience. Tonight's honoree possesses both these qualities. Additionally, they have taken nearly every type of visual arts course at STEM, photography, ceramics, concept art, drawing and painting, and AP art, twice. Mr. Levinson raves about their work in game studio, saying they create stunning game art throughout the year. The individual assets were strong in technique and style. Together, the body of work showed wide range and advanced ability that inspired the entire class. As a sophomore, they took AP drawing and received the maximum score. As a junior, they took AP 2D design and again, received the maximum score. But that is not why she is receiving this award tonight. She is one of the only three middle school students in my 10 years 
who I've allowed to take an independent study. The reason is that I knew if Caitlin was around art supplies, she would make art. She can't help it. It is in her very nature. It is like watching an unstoppable artistic force. That's because Caitlin is an artist. She has an artistic brain, an artistic passion, and sees the world as an artist sees it. Caitlin's sketchbooks are overflowing with creative ideas, experimentations, studies, and the most gorgeous doodles you're likely to see. Without hesitation, I can say, she is one of the most creative students I've had in my career. Early on at STEM, the student became the master. Her skills were advanced and her ideas complex. She had something to say and knew how to say it. Caitlin's art teaches us about the struggles we all face, about life and about ourselves. That's what it was meant to do. It's art's purpose, and I think Caitlin's purpose, to enlighten, to mystify, and to show life from a different angle to a world that is used to looking at it straight on. Congratulations, Caitlin, and thanks for the devil cats. Good evening. I am Allison Doe, the business teacher. I think I can see my screen here. Um, okay. So my favorite business students are humble, hardworking, and genuine to the core. You know students like your subject matter when they have taken every possible course in the field of study under two separate business teachers. This equates to at least eight different high school and advanced CE business courses. The business student of the year is dedicated, kind, does more than what is expected, as an, and is an excellent role model of what a STEM Spartan is. I am honored to have had the opportunity to have been Tyler Conley's business teacher and present this award to him. He has achieved top state and national accomplishments in the business program. But before I get to the accolades that can go on his resume, which obviously tonight, Tyler, you're, you're tied down in ropes, uh, ropes. that's amazing. Um, I want you all to truly know why he earned business student of the year. All good business people are storytellers, right? So as the previous business teacher was impart imparting her vast knowledge and responsibilities to me, she end with, ended with saying, call Tyler. She passed on his contact info and within an hour of being employed at STEM, Tyler came to the school before the school year started. He stepped in to show me the new teacher all the ropes. He taught me how to run the school store. He managed our accounting records and analyzed our financials. He created marketing materials. He worked tirelessly with our vendors and customers on a daily basis. This is not an assignment, a requirement, or extra credit. He enjoyed running a real business with real money and customers. He saw every task as an opportunity to learn instead of as a do. He is so responsible, so organized, and so efficient. I only recommend people that I would actually hire to be on a team. Hands down, Tyler, you are worth your gold. He was the constant liaison between myself and all of the business association students. He supported them and never gave up until their problems were solved. He is patient and one of the best listeners I have come across. I have been a, teach a business teacher for many years. I have had many different students in leadership roles. They had the title, but rarely did they show up to contribute or work hard. I tr have truly never had a student as amazing and hardworking as Tyler. He is the only student, in my opinion, who earned the title of Business Association President. He several times over first place state champion for FBLA national competition and was a constant cheerleader for others when they won and, and had achievements as well. Tyler, you will be truly missed. I wish you all the best next year in your studies of mathematics and accounting at TCU. Your personality and kind spirit will take you far in life and obviously the brains are there too. All the best. Hi everyone. 
Got to say, I'm a little nervous. So I got Paul Lee in here as my uh, uh, my companion here. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm Cameron Ryan, uh, and Paul Lee is right there. Um, this is our seventh year at STEM, and we get the privilege of honoring one of you tonight as um, yeah, with our award. So. Um, just a little backstory for the parents. I teach a lot of the IT courses. Paul teaches a lot of the computer science or the coding courses. Uh, together we teach an alarming amount of preps, but we, <laughs> but we love it. Um, but before we start, I'd like to first give thanks to just the parents. Uh, you have raised wonderful young men and women. So it's our hats are off to you. Thank you. It's, it's very obvious to us as teachers, you know, the effort you put into it. Uh, second, I, I like to thank our fellow teachers and staff. You are incredible. Thank you for everything that you do. Uh, and to the class of 2021, you did it. You made it. So you are free. Um, it's been a joy to work with all of you. Uh, some of you for the past seven years, I've seen you grow up from uh, seventh grade, from 12 years old now to 18. And that's that's been a true joy. Uh, you inspire all of us to be better. So. Um, so every year, Paul and I look forward to this day, this evening. Uh, we plan it for months in advance, knowing that we have to choose just one. Uh, we, this excitement is quickly replaced by crippling anxiety. Um, to the parents in the crowd, it's like picking your favorite child, and then you declare in front of your entire extended family uh, that that is your favorite child, and you, you have to say this in front of everyone, and it's recorded. Just look in the top left, you know, so th there's evidence of this. Um, but we started the discussion two months ago. Every year is a difficult decision. Uh, this year is no exception. Um, we have students that can code in over eight languages. And I don't mean like just a cursory knowledge. I mean like in depth. Uh, we have students that are hireable right now that could easily make double our income on say AWS, a software engineer, say, you know, for career wise. Um, we have students that are the head of TSA for the States. Uh, we have students that build cars that drive around the school, like these little tiny motorized cars. If you ever see them running around, that's built by students. It's really impressive. Um, so we spent, we really had weeks of deliberation. Uh, Paul and I had multiple Friday Zoom sessions that lasted over an hour and a half each time. We narrowed it down to seven students. We revisited the next week, we got it down to three. And then we finally, after two months, figured out, okay, we have one, we're sticking to it. We're not gonna bounce, like we got one. Um, so seniors know that this was difficult uh, and we're only allowed to pick one. So uh, tonight uh, we honor a student who exemplifies the ideals of what we hold most dear. Uh, the eagerness to learn, even when it's not convenient. Uh, courage to try something new and to not be afraid of failure, the endurance to not be dissuaded by obstacles, and an uncommon degree of kindness that they extended to everyone, staff, students, students younger than them, uh, everyone that they came across. Uh, empathy to those who needed it most. They extend it. Would, um, so I'm gonna age myself. And uh, so six years ago in 2015, when they arrived, yes, that was six years ago. That's, yeah. Um, this student joined our school at 12 years old as a seventh grader. Since then, they have taken every CS course that we can offer. Um, it's seventh grade computer science, eighth grade computer science. As a freshman, they took AP Computer Science A, which is a senior level course at most schools. They took it as a freshman. They got a five. Um, they were also one of our first code club members. They even brought their younger sister to it. Uh, sophomore year, they took comp tech, mobile app development, game design, junior year, networking, senior year, data structures, algorithms, li uh, Linux fundamentals, certified ethical hacker, AI and machine learning. I'm out of breath. Uh, they took all of these courses while having another job off campus. <laughs> as uh, a software engineer for Frontier Airlines. Uh, that's for the last two years. They competed in Lockheed Martin's Code Quest. They were in the advanced division. Uh, that was two years ago. They got uh, second in the state. Uh, last year, they placed first at Colorado School of Mines uh, coding competition. This year, their team placed second at Mines. The team that beat them 
They then promptly beat at the next competition, which was at Lockheed's uh, advanced, uh, sorry, Code Quest competition. That was again, the advanced division. They are number one in the state. That's, that's incredible. Um, just as a fun side note, since I, I teach a course called Certified Ethical Hacker, this student brought in a virus that I could only describe of as a global pandemic, digital pandemic virus. And when he got the virus, I don't know where he downloaded it from, but he put it in a sandbox, which is a controlled environment, and it didn't work. So he fixed it. <laughs> and then after that, he's like, yeah, anyway, this is how it works. And we're like, oh my God, is it sandboxed? And uh, yes, it is. So don't worry, we didn't release a plague upon the school. Um, but yeah, that's, um, while all of this is impressive, what really boil, what impressed us the most, Paul and I the most, was the intangibles. The passion this student showed was inspiring. Um, they always came to class eager. Uh, they had their webcam on when no one else did. That's, um, they participate in every class discussion and they are, they were our clear choice at the end of this. Uh, they not only inspired Paul, they inspired myself, th their peers. Uh, so for this year, the computer science department would like to award Devin Layton for the 2021 recipient for the computer science award. We are so proud of you. Next, we have engineering. Uh, good evening. So for engineering, uh, first of all, Cameron, thank you. That was, that was amazing. Uh, dude, you made me cry. Um, for engineering, you know, I'm blessed to work with a great team and we get along very well and we love spending time together. The only time we actually get into arguments is when we have to pick the, uh, the senior award, the department award. Uh, we have so many students who spend more Saturdays in the engineering lab than they do at home. Uh, we have students with such a passion for learning and such an eagerness uh, to approach really challenging, hard, difficult uh, problems. And uh, students who stack up these engineering classes one after the other. Um, this is a really difficult decision. Uh, and again, like Mr. Ryan said, this year was absolutely no different. Um, and we had many conversations to, uh, to narrow this down. But as we look for the department award, we look for people with a technical aptitude, people that want to uh, do hands-on uh, challenging projects. We look for engineering skills, uh, students who strive to learn how to use all of our equipment and technology that we have in the labs. Students who know how to design with CAD, how to CNC machine, 3D print, design circuitry, uh, program robots, and the list goes on. We look for students who are willing to help, students who go out of their way to help others, uh, students who go out of the way to help other teachers. We look for students who are involved with all of our engineering related clubs like TSA Robotics, um, you know, First Robotics, Best Robotics, et cetera, uh, and that passion for learning. And this year, we are proud to nominate Nathaniel Cho for the Engineering Department Award uh, as he's gone above and beyond. And I can only encourage you to at some point ask to uh, see pictures of his 3D printed clock that uh, he 3D printed, and I'm not talking about just like a frame for a, a digital alarm clock. He actually 3D printed all of the movements for a full analog entire clock. Um, and he's done many, many, many other projects for other students and teachers around the school. I think he exemplifies being compassionate toward others, being willing to help teach his skills uh, and help others struggle through the learning process to, uh, to learn how to be engineers. So Nathaniel, congratulations.
Okay, um, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to read from a script because if not, I'll start crying. So, yeah. Um, I'm Dr. Letty um, of the English department, um, and Mr. Jennings is going to be presenting with me as well. Okay, Mr. Jennings and I are incredibly proud and honored to present the award for the English Language Arts Department to a member of the STEM School's Highlands Ranch Class of 2021. This is a phenomenal class of students, very close to the English department's heart. You've shown so much strength, creativity, resilience, intelligence, and kindness in our classrooms, so it's very hard to narrow down who we'd like to give this award to. When we were deciding what student best deserved this award more than a month ago, we sat down as a department to outline what our values were. While the STEM formula for, char for character provides guidance, we thought about what those values were specifically to our field and what would lead to a lifelong success in language arts, no matter what career path our students would take. The central values that we discussed as a department were integrity, empathy, the ability to apply feedback consistently, determination, creativity, and connecting literature to their interests outside of the classroom. After creating a short list of students who stood out to us as embodying most of these qualities, there's one student on the list that we felt really took these values and applied them consistently and with a quiet passion that left a lasting impression. His work is not only memorable throughout the years, but his kind, determined personality makes him unforgettable to any English teacher. I took the liberty to reach out to some of his former teachers for some of their thoughts, which Mr. Jennings and I will share along with our own. Ms. Christian was so excited to hear that we chose this student and said that, quote, he not only works diligently to accomplish what he sets his mind on, but also what he sets his heart on. His passion for helping others and building community drives so much of what he does, and he consistently went above and beyond in and out of the classroom. His dedication and reliability makes him someone who his classmates can turn to and someone I admire. Watching him grow as an artist, writer, scholar, and human being has been one of the most profound joys. I want to add to this ringing endorsement by stating that, it, that in the two years that I taught this student, I was constantly left impressed, almost speechless, which for me is saying something, uh, by the student's constant dedication to doing his best, even when it didn't come naturally. Students who engage with struggle and try their hardest, taking into consideration feedback and using their interest to engage with the content are every teacher's dream. Our honoree has done this throughout the years with integrity and grit and with a maturity that is way beyond his years. I am honored and humbled to have been his teacher since he also taught me a lot about resilience and inner strength in a tough few years. This student is one who has shown themselves to be a motivated student throughout their high school career. One area that we love to see in students is not necessarily a natural gift or ability with language, but a student who is resilient enough to come back to every assignment with a fresh perspective and a willingness to learn. One of the students, former teachers, Ms. Harper, said that this honoree has, quote, a natural gift for learning. They love to discover a deeper purpose of understanding the material. While he is naturally reserved and respectful, he also has a ferocious appetite for new knowledge. That and a sly sense of humor. I, like many teachers, like to incorporate creativity in the classroom through projects and content understanding. And from some of these projects, they included a whole poetic story about the life and culture of a medieval baker to a presentation twice as long as it needed to be on the psychoanalytical characterization of Thanos from Ender Game or Endgame, because, quote, I just really got into it. He has not failed to deliver on any of these. This semester was incredibly difficult for everyone for a whole host of reasons, but this student persevered throughout the entire year while taking ownership of any missteps, keeping themselves challenged and engaged with the content, and leveraging opportunities with feedback to improve their writing. The Language Arts Department is enthusiastically proud to honor Viet Tran with our departmental award for the 2020-2021 school year. We're so excited for you, Viet. Thank you. Hi again, everybody. The math department got together. Uh, about a month ago to try to figure out who would get this math award and that we're looking for somebody with a real strong foundation in math and a tenacious learner active participant in class a great attitude about learning math 
and of course that ends up describing hundreds of students at STEM. So um, made things difficult. We're numbers people, so we look at some averages and considered what classes uh, students were taking and came up with this person. And um, surprisingly, uh, the student who gets this award is um, able to do all of this on a delay, <laughs> virtually. Uh, I um, can't imagine trying to learn uh, some of the curriculum that this student learned this year uh, on the delay. If you've ever watched an international news um, report where there's a four or five second delay, that kind of gives you a sense of what it's like to learn calculus um, virtually. Uh, but this student did that um, engaged in class, involved, um, did quite well on, on the notorious Calc BC weekend quizzes, um, was, was able to handle, handle it very well. So the math award goes to Bryce Hawkin. Similar to every other department, PE, we always have a, a few people that we want to choose from because even though we are STEM school, we still have plenty of kids who, uh, who love to be active and uh, enjoy taking PE classes. We even have some seniors who've taken a PE class every single semester they've had high school. <laughs> some people go a little overboard, but it's okay. We love them anyway. Um, we often joke in uh, the PE department that most of our standards are pretty much us teaching students how to be a good person. You know, we don't, uh, a lot of our things aren't super factual. A lot of it's um, theoretical and just how to do things, but most of them are uh, how to be empathetic, how to be a leader, how to cooperate in a flexible environment. Uh, we essentially teach a lot of students how to be good people. And <laughs> um, we have plenty of good people that we have at STEM and students often are extremely respectful and always willing to help those in need, no matter uh, what level they are, how well they're how good they are at the subject themselves. We have people who are bad at science that still try to help people with science, but it's okay. So for our uh, PE award, we had a, just a couple people that we narrowed it down to, um, but for our official award, we went with Bella Martinez. Congratulations, Bella Martinez for receiving the PE award. All right. Well, um, I am Dr. Campbell Smith. I've been at STEM for five years and I teach uh, just about all the life sciences we have at STEM. And uh, tonight I am incredibly proud and honored to present the award for the science department for the STEM School Highlands Ranch class of 2021. Uh, so when I began at STEM, I had the opportunity to teach many of you as eighth graders in eighth grade physical science uh, before moving into my role in the high school where I was able to teach many of you again. This graduating class is particularly close to my heart and I can't believe how much you all have grown in the past five years. I am so grateful I have been able to witness such incredible people become young adults. Like all the other departments have expressed, it was incredibly difficult to settle on a recipient for this award. So many of you embody the spirit of inquiry and seeking answers with integrity and academic rigor. As a science department, we finally came up with two finalists that we felt deserved distinction from the department. Both of these students have an enthusiasm for all the sciences and spend a considerable amount of their time in a variety of scientific pursuits outside of the classroom as well. Both of these finalists were part of a small group of National Science Honor Society who participated in the Colorado Science Olympiad. The Science Olympiad is a STEM-based competition with events ranging from engineering and physics to chemistry and biology-based competitions and tests. Uh, this year, our team earned a spot at the state competition and these two students placed second in or the ornithology competition. This achievement took hours of studying and preparing outside of school, work and other activities to be able to identify and describe numerous species of birds. In addition to this, 
Uh, these students have both participated in research projects and community projects involved in getting others excited about not only ornithology, but uh, science and appreciation for our natural world, including an enthusiastic glee for opossums as well. When it was time to decide who between these two exceptional students uh, should get the science department award, we didn't. Therefore, it is my honor to award the STEM School Highlands Ranch Science Department Award to both Joanne Fuchs and Grace Byfeld. Congratulations to both of you. I could go on and on and on about these two students and so many more, but it is my distinct honor to give you both this award. Hello again, I'm Miss White and I am representing the Social Studies Department tonight. Um, we are so excited to present this award to the student tonight. Much like the other departments, we had a difficult time narrowing it down to just one student. Um, but this student stood out in the minds of all of the at least high school social studies teachers. And so he became the very obvious choice for this award. Um, the student has consistently performed well in the AP social studies classes that he's taken during his time at STEM, both in class and on the end of year AP exams. He is driven, hardworking, eager to learn, and consistently strives to do his best work. The student also excels in his communication, writing, and critical thinking skills, which is evident in both his classwork and his participation in the classroom. See, these are the skills that we hope our students leave our classes with, and we are so proud of this student for his academic achievements. I also wanna note that this student has had to overcome some personal challenges this year, but he was determined to not give up on his classes. He reached out to me and his other teachers to let us know that he was struggling and needed some grace with his schoolwork. His willingness to share that while also showing his intention to still do his best work shows that this student is willing to persevere through difficult challenges and made him a clear candidate for this award. These attributes will allow this student to be successful in his college career and beyond. Um, so on behalf of the social studies department, we are so excited to give this award to Connor Sparks. Congratulations, Connor, we're so proud of you and good luck next year. Um, hello again to everyone. Uh, my name is Maria Moreno and it's for me a, an honor and a pleasure to present the award for the recipient for the World Language Department. And first of all, I want to mention that the World Language Department at the STEM, uh, STEM uh, School Highlands Ranch is teaching uh, French, uh, Chinese and Spanish. And well, this is my third year as a STEM and I really fell in love with all my students. I learned to appreciate all of you. And um, I mean, I have a special um, feeling for all of you for trying too hard to succeed in this uh, very uh, interesting environment, be online, be in the classroom. And it's challenging to be teaching languages uh, in this environment, but I really admire all your uh, resilience, all your courage to be there, to try to do their best. And not only one, all of you have been trying really hard. And for the teachers in the department, uh, uh, their patient for being here, for being, without cameras where we need to teach how to pronounce, how to say the, the words and it's challenging, believe me. But I mean, it's uh, also, um, a, I can say a interesting, challenging, fun and many things together, many feelings and many situations we have been through and um, to, narrow or to choose a person for this award is not easy as everyone mentioned because um, many students show their desire to succeed their uh, passion for learning another language and it's not only the language is to try to understand other cultures and that makes the uh, give them the opportunity to uh, embrace a different 
people in the world. That is the most challenging uh, task for us to make the students embrace different cultures, different points of view, and to try to make them put them in those shoes is a challenging task. And then is to deliver in each session. Guess what, guys? Si se puede, we can do it. We can go for more. For me, it's every day to be with passion and courage to be in front of them, the camera, with the students on their face, with their faces or not, but it's just to embrace the enthusiasm for the, it could be the Hispanic culture, it could be from the Chinese culture, it could be from the French culture, but every student is, um, we have the compromise to do that. And then I hope so that they, can get a little piece of those countries of those that culture that they are learning. So um, in this case, um, the person who is the recipient for the World Language Department is one person. For me, it could be more than one, but the person that received that uh, recognized uh, award, sorry, is Emma Slack. And regarding. To Emma Slack, I can say that she's an amazing student and she has always been above and beyond in her assignments. But the most important is that she nurtures personal respect and respect for others, whoever they are. She shares her enthusiasm to others. She can be a great leader or follower and she knows and she shows her passion for learning. So um, she is a lifelong learner. So I can say congratulations to Emma, felicidades, but not only to her, to her family, to the community that supports you and the people that you are impacted with your life and your attitude all the time. So congratulations, muchas felicidades. Y I can say, si se pudo, is si se puede. It's just continue and embrace your um, passion for learning. Thank you. Let me unmute myself so I can say this all over again. <laughs> the sim. Uh, Athletic award goes to the athletes that are the face of uh, STEM athletics. They're the ones that are there for the roller coaster uh, and the flexibility that they have to have um, when it comes to this year and every other year for STEM and athletics as we continue to grow and uh, on our journey, um, trying to get the chassis and everything and trying to be as competitive as we can with all the other schools. Um, this year we have two recipients for the STEM athletic award. Uh, they are both uh, have hardworking dedication, not just this year, but for several years on their respective teams. Uh, they are there uh, as a leader and as a friend. They are always there to assist when it comes to skills or just when it comes to life. Uh, they are the people that uh, their team looks to when they're in a bad situation and they're the ones that help get them out of it. Uh, the STEM Athletic Awards go to uh, Isabella Martinez and Evan Franco. Evan, as a captain of our soccer team, um, one of the two captains of our soccer team, had played almost every minute of every game this year um, and has always been uh, the center of our defense and has been a rock that has saved many goals this year. Despite his frustration in some games, he's always there and he's always uh, reliable and dedicated to his, himself, his team, um, and uh, his coaches as well. He's always there to help us when we need to organize things. Um, his parents are also have been a fantastic help this year and every year they've been involved in STEM athletics. Bella, as uh, one of the, as the captains of the volleyball team, um, has been a leader and she has always been a strong and positive influence for her team. She leads not just in uh, words, but also her actions. She's done um, very well in the court and she's been someone that the, um, the team looks to when they uh, need advice or just there to help back them up. Congratulations, Bella and Evan. All right, next up we have the STEM Character Award. So this student that was chosen this year embodies every aspect of the STEM's formula for character. 
They are one of the most empathetic and caring students that I have ever met, and I am honored to know them. Dr. Campbell Smith, you actually know this student better than anyone else. Could you please unmute and speak to why they were chosen for this award by our, by our entire high school staff? I am happy to. So I was I was asked recently to uh, to discuss this student. So I haven't had a chance to really prepare a speech, uh, but I I don't even really need to prepare. Um, so the STEM formula for character is the framework for character development at STEM. Uh, it includes honesty, integrity, respect, responsibility, and empathy. I have a hard time thinking of how this student, like how we could have taught much of this to this student. The student has taught much of this to us. Um, this student has demonstrated honesty in everything they do at STEM. Uh, when they're struggling, when they're struggling with assignments, um, when they are having trouble uh, balancing work and life, they're honest about it. They come to us and they let us know and they're honest to those around them. Integrity, um, the student has incredible integrity. Um, this student doesn't take anything for granted, doesn't take advantage of anyone. The student, when you need help or another student needs help, the student will help them. Um, respect, the student respects their peers, they respect their friends, they respect their family, and they show just a wonderful respect for life in general. Responsibility. Um, I honestly don't know how the student does everything they do uh, at the same time. I, I really don't. I think you might have a time turner like in Harry Potter. Um, but this student takes on a lot of responsibilities and not only takes them on, but meets and exceeds those responsibilities. And empathy. I can't emphasize enough just how much empathy this student has for the, everyone around them. And sometimes to the point where uh, I would see this student so concerned about not being able to help strangers. And it was really inspiring. I could go on and on about this student, but I would like to present the STEM Character Award to Joanne Fuchs. Uh, thank you for being you. And thank you for inspiring all of us. Thank you so much. That was beautiful and very well deserved. We are proud of you, Joe. All right, finally, this brings us to our last award of the night, uh, awards, I guess I should say. So these are the top academic awards. And this is where we will announce who our salutatorian and valedictorian will be. So our salutatorian is, has earned, um, I believe it's a 4.7 something GPA, <laughs> which is amazing. And we are so incredibly proud of him. And that student is Grant Gooding. Congratulations, Grant. You get to give a speech at graduation, so get ready. <laughs> and then we actually have two valedictorians this year because they, are, they have both earned over a 4.8 GPA, which again is beyond amazing. And also get ready to <laughs> present a, a speech at graduation. And these two amazing students are Kyle Paris and Jaden Toy. So amazing job, guys. We are so proud of you. And we can't wait to hear your amazing speeches at graduation. So it'll be your turn finally. <laughs> All right, well, that brings us to the end of our ceremony. I wanna thank everybody for being here. Thank you to our teachers for presenting and giving these students their absolute all. And we cannot wait to see all of you at graduation in person on May 20th. Have a great night, everybody.